Hi there. Thanks for joining us for Together. I'm Karen Lee. With Veterans Day upon us, we wanted to dedicate our show today to them, all the men and women and their families who do so much for all of us. From the organizations coming together to help our veterans to stories of vets doing amazing things. We have some incredible people to share with you today. To start, I want to tell you about an organization that is inspiring veterans to get outside their comfort zone. They're helping vets heal through music. Mike Lobeta tells us about songwriting with soldiers. Music can do a lot for a person. These veterans know that firsthand. I was able to be vulnerable with my creativity. They're learning to use that creativity to express emotions through song. We use the collaborative songwriting process to build creativity, connections, and strengths. How this songwriting retreat is changing veterans' lives. Next on Together. Our servicemen and women put their lives on the line. Well, as we get closer to the holidays, it's important that they are not forgotten. Luckily, there's one group of kids working hard to make their days a little brighter. Our Sean Chidness introduces us to those kids. These second graders are grateful. Dear Air Force person, thank you so much for flying over our country. They're expressing that gratitude in these letters. Thank you for keeping us safe. Sincerely, Anna. But they're also doing more than just writing. No matter where you are or who you are, someone over here is thinking of you. We'll show you what else is going into these boxes for soldiers coming up on Together. Well, they say a dog is man's best friend, and nowhere do they know that better than at the Rocky Mountain Dogs Project. The group gives veterans with PTSD their very own service dogs. Jeff Todd shows us the impact the group is having right here in Colorado. Almost two years old, he's a German short hair pointer. Steve Brown's dog, Toby, is more than just a companion. <laughs> Boy, Toby. He's also a lifesaver. April 1st was the last time I took any PTSD meds. Steve's life changed once he got Toby, and now he's ready to give back. I have the skills and tools to train a new puppy. How the Rocky Mountain Dogs Project is giving veterans a new lease on life. That's later on Together. Well, adjusting to life after service can be tough, but there's one group taking an interesting approach to helping veterans heal. They're doing it through ice fishing. Dominic Garcia and photojournalist Bill Mashore caught up with the Patriot Anglers back in February. They show us how the group is coming together for our mil military one fish at a time. Oh, got him. Fish on. Fish out. When it comes to fishing, using a worm and a little jig, Marine yeah, veteran Tommy Hicks is hooked. There's a saying in the fishing community, the tug is the drug, <laughs> and it's so true. A few years back, Tommy joined up with the Patriot Anglers, a nonprofit that takes veterans fishing. It sounds simple, but the impact can be profound. It's something that I didn't know that I needed, but it absolutely is something that I need now. And so we're going through a little over a foot of ice. Because when you're out on the ice, in the elements, nothing but your rod and fellow vet, things start to happen. It's real easy to talk about anything. You know, we could talk about going, how much you paid for a gallon of milk at the grocery store yesterday, or we can talk about some serious stuff that happened in Fallujah. We are crazy. You guys are absolutely right. Lewis Chapman is one of the founders of the group and says despite the conditions. What makes ice fishing special is it sucks out here. And what makes it special for veterans is we can all come back together in a really horrible conditions and have a great time and bond and we make the best of it. Connections are made. When we got a rainbow trout from Georgetown, Colorado. Sounds unique, but the bonds it's built have helped save lives. Veterans have been able to reach out to us in their times of trouble when it's times of desperation and we've been able to, to, to get them the help that they need. We mentioned that Tommy is hooked and he's not going anywhere. This former Marine is now a guide for the group helping spread the solace he found on the ice. Probably the best psychiatrist anybody can ask for. When you're out on the water and you're just focused on trying to catch a fish, it's really good for the soul. I mean, it's like going to church, you know, it's, it's incredible. So beautiful too. Well, the Patriot anglers tell us they'll be heading up to Lake Dillon this weekend to try and catch the rare Arctic char. Good luck to them. We wish them all the best. Or the land of the free. And the whole this week, the city of Aurora honored our nation's heroes. They held the 24th annual Veteran Salute at the Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum. 
Hundreds of veterans gathered for this event. And this wasn't the only musical performance. Students from Horizon Middle School were also there to sing for the vets as well. Well, many musicians and songwriters have come to Colorado over the years to find inspiration for their music. Just a couple of weeks ago, a group of veterans did the same in the hills west of Loveland. Michael Abeta tells us about songwriting with soldiers. When you've been through trauma, expressing your emotions can be difficult. It's really hard to trust yourself in general. And it's especially hard when you feel like you have a story that no one wants to hear. It doesn't always feel like civilians want to understand, but this, this community of people, they really do. That community is a group of new friends, spending time together and making music. We use the collaborative songwriting process to build creativity, connections, and strengths. This program is Songwriting with Soldiers. They send veterans and songwriters on a songwriting retreat but it's not just about making tunes. One of the main goals of our program is to really genuinely help create a bridge between the military and civilian communities. An understanding of how America's bravest might be feeling after they come home. Allison Sage is a veteran of the Army National Guard. She says that being around other veterans and the songwriters has helped her express herself in a way she never has before. I was able to be vulnerable with my creativity. If you ask Jeremy Reamer, an Air Force veteran, if you like the weekend, Oh, absolutely. You don't even have to finish that question. When they leave, the veterans will have professional recordings of the song they wrote and the group songs they all helped write. It's an experience Jeremy would recommend for all veterans. If anybody is even remotely interested in songs or poems, I would sign up. We thought this was such a beautiful story. Michael Abeda came in to talk with us a little bit more about it today. And uh, what a fabulous program. Really different and unique. Yeah, something that, I mean, I would never would have thought of. You drive around in your car, maybe when you're working out, you hear right. songs and you might identify with them and think that they're really speaking to you. Mm -hmm. And maybe even think that you can write your own song. But this is really giving them this opportunity to express themselves in a very unique way. Yeah, music really soothes the soul, doesn't it? Um, do they have to have any kind of musical background? Does it matter at all? No, no, they don't have to have any kind of musical background. They bring in professional songwriters from Austin, from L.A., mm -hmm. and those songwriters are just very talented, and they take care of the X's and O's, mm -hmm. and the veterans get to get to focus on what they want to say and how they how they want to express themselves. Wow, that's beautiful. How long did it take them to come up with a song? So they write all weekend long, and okay. what they do is they'll split them up, and each veteran gets their own personal song. Mm -hmm. That usually takes a couple hours because those songwriters are pretty good, and they yeah. can crank them out. But then they'll get back together, and they'll write a few songs together as a group that they all get to pitch in on, and those will take, you know, the rest of the afternoon. So really it's a full weekend, but they really get something great out of it. Yeah, how great to really... To dig deep, right, and to share some of that stuff on the inside that they probably don't talk about all the time. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the veterans I talked to said, you know, we just didn't think that people cared about these mm -hmm. feelings that we were feeling, and we were just keeping them inside. And being able to let them out like mm -hmm. that really gave them the opportunity to see that, oh, yeah, you know, people do care. And, and I feel good now because this thing that's been weighing heavy on my soul finally it's out. out. Yeah, that's beautiful. Quickly, tell us about how people can help out with the program because I know a lot of people will want to. Well, of course, they can go to their website and make a donation. You know, they're always looking for funds. And you can also go to the website and download their music and maybe just take in some of the things that those veterans are saying and try to understand what they're going through. Yeah, Michael, thanks so much for sharing that with us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah. Really different. Well, one home in Aurora was in really bad shape, at least until a group of people came together to fix it up. Talk about neighbors helping out neighbors, how their hard work is changing the life of a disabled veteran. Together with Karen Lee, sponsored by Canvas Credit Union. We're Canvas, and we've got you covered, Colorado. Go live. all of us, sometimes our veterans need a little helping hand. Neighbors in Aurora noticed U.S. Army vet Brad Geisler's home was starting to fall apart. So they came together and recruited 15 local companies to do something about it, to spruce it up. Well, thanks to their hard work, the retired Army sergeant got a brand new roof on his home. Brad has a debilitating back injury that prevents him from doing work around the home. And besides that in injury, he also works full time. So Monarch Construction and Roofing donated the materials and paid staff to replace his roof.
When we heard this story, it really moved us and we just knew we had to take action. Until something like this came along, we were, where are we? Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Because the house is basically falling apart. So great, but now besides replacing his roof, volunteers also fixed his gutters and painted his home. So a lot of work there, and I bet his house just looks fantastic now. Lauren Whitney joins us now, and Lauren, uh, we just love sharing some of the pictures of our veterans. They do such amazing things for us. They really are yeah. such an amazing part of our community, and we have some great pictures okay. of them doing all sorts of wonderful things. Let's take a look here. This group is called Fight Or, check it out there, O-A-R, Die. So that boat behind them, they're actually traveling 5,000 miles across the Atlantic uh, in, a, to, in an effort to raise uh, mental health awareness for veterans and that is actually being documented by the University of Denver. So really a cool thing that they're doing there and our veterans like to come together as well. This is uh, them donating hurricane supplies. We've had some major ones earlier That's this right. year. Yeah. So they are in Arvada. You can see just how many supplies they have there and, and you can see too with all their positive messages and here's a look at Walking with the Wounded. This is a group of um, uh, veterans not only from America but from uh, Great uh, Britain as well and they are walking a thousand miles again to raise awareness for veteran causes because there are so many of them and and we have so much to be thankful for them and so we really need to make more awareness for all of the plates that they have to go through yeah and all the things that they do for, for they continue to do for us right they don't stop exactly serving us in our community mm -hmm. so we really appreciate those and great pictures thanks, thanks. well share your photos with us and we may feature them right here on together just send us an email at together for Colorado at cbs.com you can also post it on social media using the hashtag for Colorado and I look forward to hearing from you, so send them in. Well, young students are coming together to celebrate Colorado's veterans. How this patriotic assembly is teaching our young generations about the importance of honoring our military. Coming up this week on our Together for Colorado calendar, on Monday, veterans can enjoy a free dinner in Sedalia. Cherokee Ranch is hosting the meal in honor of Veterans Day. Wednesday, buy a holiday wreath and you'll support a Broomfield school. Holy Family High School is holding its annual wreath and garland sale through the end of the week. Friday it is the annual Heroes and Hope celebration in Boulder. This event supports conservation programs. You can find more information on these events by visiting the Together for Colorado page of CBSDenver.com. Cherry Creek School District is coming together to make sure students understand and appreciate our veterans. On Wednesday, Cottonwood Creek Elementary in Inglewood held a special assembly. They invited veterans from their community to come in and share their stories. Students also read their own thank you letters to the vets. It's something that touched retired Army Captain Lowell Willock. His granddaughter is a third grader at Cottonwood Creek. I grew up in the Vietnam era when there was no acknowledgement for the military. And it's really heartwarming to see Cherry Creek School District do such a great job. Meanwhile, second graders at a school in Evergreen are going above and beyond to recognize our troops who are overseas. They want to make sure they are not forgotten this holiday season. So the kids are coming together to create care packages. As Sean Chitness explains, their hard work is also teaching them an important lesson about sacrifice. Dear service person, thank you for serving our country. You are such a risk taker. Dear soldier, thank you so much for being protective. It means so much to me. Dear service person, thank you for serving our country. You are such a risk taker. Dear soldier, thank you so much for being protective. It means so much to me. Inside this classroom at King Murphy Elementary School in Evergreen, second graders show their appreciation for the men and women who serve this country. I hope that you are a fighter for us. Thank you for protecting America and taking risks to help us. Thank you for what you did to the world. It's a tradition that started with an employee at a local salon, getting the kids involved so they learn early the sacrifice others make for them. No matter where you are or who you are, someone over here is thinking of you. After the letters are written, they're added to boxes with toiletries for those troops. Each box has notes from students and supplies for 10 service members. He was there for six months and it was the first care package he had ever gotten and he was just so thankful. A lesson in the classroom that takes just a few minutes but will last them through the holiday season and beyond. If I were you right now, I would miss my family a lot. Thank you for keeping us safe. 
Those letters are precious. Well, this Friday morning, those care packages were carefully assembled and boxed up for shipping. We were there at the Tallgrass Spas. They loaded them all up. Each of the boxes will have enough personal supplies for 10 service members. And the group was able to send out about 250 of them. Well, job, well done. Well, our veterans put their lives on the line. We all know that. The many return home and face homelessness. Luckily, there are people coming together to help them out. How this pile of dirt will soon transform the lives of some homeless vets. A Colorado charity is using man's best friend to help veterans with PTSD. It has found the key to success is having four legs and a tail. Jeff Todd and photojournalist Robert Gaidecki introduce us to a vet who says his Rocky Mountain dog saved his life. It was just that shock wave that really scrambles your brain. Um, that's what, where the TBI came from. Steve Brown served a two year tour in Iraq in the Army National Guard. When he came home, he was eventually diagnosed with PTSD. Doctors, medication, the gamut for 10 years. Taking up to three antidepressants a day, he contemplated suicide. Having life is a wonderful thing. His life turned around about a year ago. <laughs> Boy, Toby. When he connected with the Rocky Mountain Dogs Project and got his service dog, Toby. Almost two years old, he's a German short hair pointer. I had no idea how this would work out. Kevin Sanka's son, Corporal David Sanka, was killed along with his war dog in Afghanistan in 2013. To honor his son, Kevin started not just giving veteran service dogs. I don't have too much strict obedience on him. But actually teaching the dog. vets to train dogs. There's going to come a day where Toby's not going to be around and I'm going to need to train another dog. I have the skills and tools to train a new puppy. Oh. These skills created a relationship with Toby that has changed Steve's life. April 1st was the last time I took any PTSD meds. Oh boy. It makes me so proud that Steve is now off all his medication. Happy. <laughs> and these are emotions. <clears throat> Prior to this is either anger or depression. Knowing we've helped one person. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. Well, that'll make us all cry. The city of Aurora is coming together to make sure our veterans have a place to call home. On Monday, work started on a brand new affordable housing complex at 30th and Peoria. When it's done, 10 of the apartments will be reserved for formerly homeless veterans. The location is perfect for them, too. Since these apartments will be close to the new VA hospital, the apartments should be done by August. Well, thank you for joining us on this special Veterans Day edition of Together. We'll be back here again next week highlighting all of the good that's going on all around us. Until then, I want you to I want to take you back to Cottonwood Creek Elementary and that Veterans Tribute. Photojournalist Tom Myers caught the kids singing this special song to our vets. Enjoy.